In this Omega 4.0 video, we're going to talk about automatic halftone settings in GSP Plot. This new feature basically automatically will set your Gerber Edge output halftones based upon the type of fill in an object, the size of the object, and the type of object it is, whether it's an image, a stroke, a gradient fill, or a solid percentage tint. So here I have a job with a variety of different types of objects in it. So you can say I have two images, some gradient fills, and so a solid fill as well, such as what you see here. And typically what you might do for these type of objects is that you might use Gerber Tone STC Photo for the images, and you might use regular Gerber Tone or Gerber Tone Fine for the vector fills. But sometimes when viewing these at a small size, some of these halftones might look a little bit too coarse. So this new button in GSP plot will automatically set some different halftones based upon the size, the fill type, and the object type. So I'm going to take this job into GSP plot. I'll go to File and Output All or Shift F11. And my job is now open in GSP plot. And to access this new feature, you go into Print Options or the 1, 2, 3 button. And then you can go into halftone. And here's the new, oh, let me move this box up a skosh. There we go. And then we're going to click on the halftone button. And there's a new button in here called auto substitution. I'm going to turn on auto substitution. And basically, I'm done as far as turning on the feature. So when I render this job, it's going to use a whole different set of halftones based upon the size, the object type, and the fill type. But now let's go back into that dialog box, go into Print Options, or the 1, 2, 3 button, and then we're going to go into Halftone again. And let's take a look at what some of the settings are in this dialog box. So first of all, you have a tab for 300, a tab for 600, and if you have the Edge FX with Omega 4.0, a tab for 1200 DPI. And down here we see that from 0 to 2 inches for gradient fills, it's going to use a classical dot at 65 lines per inch. And if, uh, as an experienced edge user, perhaps I say to myself, well, 65 lines per inch, I'd like to turn that into 70 lines per inch. You can do that. You can override the settings in here, turn it into 70, and then click on Preference, and it'll use your new setting instead of what the Gerber default was. And from 2 inches to 6 inches is going to use a classical dot at 55 LPI. In this case, you might say, well, I really want that to be 50 lines per inch or a slightly larger dot. And then for 6 inches and larger, you want it to use Gerber Tone Fine. And Gerber Tone Fine, there's no LPI setting because uh, that does not offer that option. For solid fills, uh, because there are no gradients, you don't have to worry about banding. So from 0 to 11.8 inches, it's going to use a classical dot at 65 lines per inch, which is a nice, small, crisp dot. And then for 11.8 inches and larger, where you have a longer viewing distance, it's just slightly less aggressive at 55 lines per inch. For strokes, it's going to use a classical dot at 55 lines per inch. The reason for the relatively high LPI or the relatively small dot is that strokes never have a gradient in them, so you don't have to worry about any banding whatsoever. And for image fills, from 0 to 6 inches, it's going to use a classical dot at 70 lines per inch. And then 6 inches and larger, it's going to use Gerber Tone STC Photo at 70 lines per inch, which is the Omega 3.0 default. And you can also change these settings based upon 600 or 1200 or high res mode for the Edge FX. Because when you go to a higher DPI on your Edge, number one, it goes uh, slightly slower, but number two, it gives you more levels of gray or less banding for a given LPI. So you can get slightly more aggressive for your sizes or with your LPI count. But the one thing you do want to be careful of is uh, the over transfer, where you might get a little bit of extra fill in as you start to use a, a, a high LPI or a, a small half tone dot. And if you want these settings to stay, if you make changes and you want them to, to be used in subsequent jobs, be sure to click on Preference to keep these settings uh, for future jobs. So that's a quick overview of automatic half tones using Omega 4.0.